Hello people, today I will show you how to download and update some mods, in this case I will try Paper Mario, but it also works for some other games like Super Mario 64 and stuff like that. We need a few things first. We need a ROM. I can't share you one because that's not legal, you will need to find one or dump one. And you need a patch file and an emulator. In my case, I will try to use Project 64 and BizHawk. So first we need the game. In my case, I have one ROM file, which is this one. And we need a patch. In this case, I have a few mods downloaded. I haven't done the jam mods, so let's begin with this. We need to go to a ROM patcher, so we'll search ROM Pasture. I like to use this one, Hack64, but there are many ROM Pastures. Actually, you can read here the kind of files it can patch. Most mods are BPS or mod ones in the case of Paper Mario. And actually, this one is specifically for Paper Mario, I think. So, we need a ROM. I will use this one as I said. Now it's selected. And I'll patch the jam mods. See, this one is a mod, this one is a BPS. So let's start with this one. It downloaded. We'll do Cooking Princess. Flower Powder, Paper Mario Cake Chaos, Paper Mario Gourmet Guy 1000 IQ Quiz, and Sweet Expedition. As you can see, they were all successfully patched. So, let's check this out. Um, I duplicated this one accidentally. So, let's cut this. And I will paste them here. So, they should run now. As you can see, it runs perfectly. So we can create a file. Let's begin. Press play. It should run now. See? So, uh, let's try to run Cooking Princess. It's also working as you can see. Same with this one, this one too, and lastly this one works as well. One more thing I want to say is that if you're on Project 64 you may see some bugs, graphic bugs, some other ones may be really bad to the point that it makes the game almost unplayable. So, fix that. We need a graphic plugin, which is called Glide N64. Not Glide 64, do not confuse them, they are different. See, uh, stuff like this happens. So, yeah, it can get really, really bad. To fix that, we need to download the plugin. called Glide N64. I have the release 4.0, which I think is the newest one, and with that it should work. So if we try now with this new plugin, um, the last time it didn't save, I don't know why. <laughs> I just restarted the emulator and see I have this one selected. I don't have a uh, graphic value anymore, and the texture should work fine now. So this time I have Paper Mario Dark Star Edition. If the game doesn't run for you, you will need to set the memory size to 8 megabytes. 
it should be 4 by default, but change it to 8, that should work. If for some reason it doesn't appear, uncheck the hide advanced options. It should appear even if you don't have that enabled. So yeah, um, make sure to set the memory size to 8 megabytes and to have the graphic plugin. So oh, here, see I have some info, I have files, what I'm going to do is I'm going to update Paper Mario Dark Star Edition, which is this one. So I'll go to Discord, to the Paper Mario modding server, we are looking for Dark Star Edition. We can see the newest version is 1.5.3H5. So we are going to download that. Once here, see that's the newest. It's newer than the one I have. So let's update Dark Star Edition. We'll do the same. Select the ROM we have and the patch we want to apply. So patch, I like to have the whole name. So I will change the name. Uh, but this is not really necessary in the case of Project 64. Now it's this file. And it has nothing. Why? Well, because it may be the same mod, but it's not really the same mod. It's slightly different. So we'll need to do something. Let's create a new file. I'll just call it A, because I'm lazy. <laughs> That should be enough, but just to make sure. So I played all the way to Goomba Village, just to make sure we reached a save. See, we have our save file here. Which means the emulator has a file saved for this game. Now what we're going to do is close the emulator. Go to where you installed your emulator. In my case, I did it here. This is my user emulator project 64. Let's go to saves. Uh, since these all are mods and stuff, they have barely the same name. But we can sort them by name and by date. Also by kind of file, but they are all folders. So the most useful will be sort by date. What I want to do now is I will try to find the old file. But how can I do that? Well, that's easy. See, this one got updated. So we will try to do the same with other one. This is the old version of Paper Mario Dark Star Edition. So, let's save. Save completed. So, now we know that This one is the file we made, we can check by the time. And this one is the modded file from the previous version. Now let's replace it. And now we see the new version has our old save. Everything's back to normal. Now let's try to do the same on Bishawk. As you can see, there's nothing here. So, what we'll do here is a little different. We'll go to the folder called N64. In your emulator, of course. Let's go to save RAM. These have the name of the new version because we ran that, but let's delete them. What you will do is rename these versions from the save file you want to update. Or if you don't want to lose the old version, what you can do is make a copy. We copy the name of the version and paste it here. We will do the same for this one. And now we have both versions. Wait, this one is 
Sabram.back. I noticed the name had an underscore. Let's delete that. Now we're checking on this hawk. And we can see our files here, which in this case they are gamer for fun, but okay, it works. I hope this was helpful. Remember that you can run this in your cell phone as well if you have a um, Mopen Plus. I don't know how to update it there, but I know the mod runs because I played other mods there. For now this will be it, if you have any kind of problems please let me know in the comments and I will try to answer as soon as I read it. You can also get help from the Paper Mario Modding Discord server, and for now that will be it, have a nice day.